lot in the last three months, and I have a bunch of books that I thought you might want to read too. Yeah, you know. Good girl. Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. I was sold on this book when I heard that one of the main characters was an octopus. And, you know, I know there's some people right now that are groaning. They're like, really? You made an animal a main character in a book? Yeah. Yeah, they did. And it is amazing. This cranky, aging octopus named Marcellus is really smart, just like, you know, all creatures of his species. And he doesn't talk out loud or anything like that. He just kind of talks in his head. And he gets up to some shenanigans when he escapes from his tank. And it's a really good thing that he does because he is the glue holding this book together. Toba works the night shift, cleaning the local aquarium, and over time she makes a really interesting friendship with Marcellus. And Marcellus knows things. And as time goes on, he knows more things, making connections that his human friend simply cannot. So how can he possibly let her know the answers that she's been searching for for so long? Okay, we're done with the octopus book. You can go. This one's scary. You don't want this one. Hi, by Kirsten White. 14 contestants are driven to an abandoned amusement park for an epic week-long game of hide and seek. The winner wins a large cash prize that every contestant needs for one reason or another. Mac is positive she's going to be the ultimate winner. After all, she once hid like her life depended on it because it actually did. Each day, two more contestants are out, gone from the game. But where did they go? And who is the seeker? I see this as the ultimate and perfect literary mashup of Midsummer with a touch of Cabin in the Woods and a hint of Something Wicked This Way Comes, and I cannot wait to read what this author writes next. Blood Sugar by Sasha Rothschild. How is it that Ruby is in this interrogation room? Until recently, Ruby was a successful therapist living in Miami Beach with her wonderful husband. But her husband tragically died young, and now she's accused of his murder. She didn't murder him. She loved him with all of her heart. Well, now those other three people who happened to die like in her vicinity, we're not talking about them. That's completely different. She did not kill her husband. We're dancing? Okay. Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Byron and Benny knew their parents were from the Caribbean, but they've never met any family or friends or even been there themselves. But their mom's famous Caribbean black cake, made for every special occasion, was a huge part of their childhood. After their mother dies, the estranged siblings are ordered to reunite for the reading of the will and to share a frozen black cake when the time is right. Byron and Benny need to face their past and conflicting emotions as they listen to hours of their deceased mom's recorded voice as she finally tells her story. A story about hardships the siblings never knew as they discover their parents' past and reflect upon their own future. How well do we know our parents? What was their life like before their children were born? Why is talking and being heard and understood by family so darn hard? Why is it that books that you adore are the hardest books to talk about? All you want to scream is read this book now. So please, read this book. Fans of character studies, family sagas, secrets, resolutions, those who just love to read, anyone is going to find something here. <laughs>